Hey, hi everyone. Today we'll learn how to use conditional formatting in Power BI. Here, if you see the visual, we choose month-wise profit for the selected year. It's difficult to understand the trend year as you have to see the numbers for all the months. So now we'll change the colors of the bar based on certain rules or threshold in the visual using conditional formatting so that any person can understand the trend just by the glance of a visual. Yeah. So let's start doing it. For that, first select the visual, then click on format your visual, then go to columns. Then here you can see conditional formatting. Just click on it. Here new window will open up. In the format style, choose rules and the metric will be profit. In the rules, enter the threshold. So we'll enter the value. If the value is greater than zero, make sure this is number and if it's less than 1 million, 1 million, then we'll make it as red. To add new rule, just click on add new rule here. And the value, if the value is greater than 1 million make sure this is number and less than 1.5 million then the val then the color will be amber we'll add one more rule if the value is greater than 1.5 million and less than 2 million then the color would be green then just click on ok now here you can see just by looking at a visual you can understand which month it's performing better average and great now we'll see how to have dynamic title in the visual using conditional formatting for that first we have to create a measure we'll name the measure as profits written as a string profits the year and concatenate it with the year selected so use selected value function and pass here. So this will return our selected year in the slicer and concatenates it with profits in the year. Now go to set the visual go to formatting click on general then go to title click on condition formatting then the field would be our new, newly created measure profits title click on ok you can see here it says profits in the year ok we just make it as Here it says profits in the year 2014. If I select 2013, then this will be profits in the year 2013. Now we'll see how to apply conditional formatting to a table visual. For that, first select the visual, then you can apply conditional formatting to any of the metric. Just right click on the metric, then click on conditional formatting. Here you can see there are various types of conditional formatting. Now let's do for background color type. In the format style, select rules. The field would be unit sold. Here enter the threshold. We'll see if the units, the units sold are in between like greater than zero. And less than. 
बैकग्राउंड कलर एस रेड We'll add one more rule. If unit sales are greater than sixty thousand and less than and back, then we'll select number. We'll add one more rule. Unit sales are greater than one lakh. And less than black, then green. Just click OK. Here you can see the background color has changed for the unit tools. You can configure other conditional formatting, just as shown. Thanks for watching.